Hello everyone, welcome to Anatomy and Physiology video presentation. This video is presented by group 2. Today we are going to talk about the oral cavity, which contains the tongue, salivary gland, teeth, and each of their specific functions. The anatomy of tongue. Epiglottic pool, palatopharyngeal arc, palatocostal arc, palapopyli, fungiform papillae, epiglottis, palatine tonsil, lingual tonsil, terminal sulcus, midline groove of tongue, filiform papillae. The characteristics of tongue covered with moist pink tissue called mucosa. Tiny bump called papillae give rough texture. Thousands of taste buds cover the surface of papillae. Taste buds are collections of nerve-like cells that connect to nerves running into brain. The anatomy of salivary gland. Duct of sublingual gland, sublingual gland, submandibular duct. Submandibular gland, parotid gland, the duct of parotid gland. The anatomy of teeth. Crown, neck, root, cusp, enamel, dentin, pop cavity. Shiva or gum, root canal, periodontal ligament, periodontal membrane, cementum, and bone. The characteristics of teeth incisor, canine, premolar, molar. There are 20 primary teeth and there are 28 to 32 permanent teeth. Now, let me explain to you what is the function of the tongue. The tongue is an accessory digestive organ composed of skeletal muscle covered with mucous membrane. As you can see, these are their structure and their functions. First, extrinsic tongue muscles. Their function is to move tongue from side to side and in and out to maneuver food for chewing, shape the food into a rounded mass and force the food to the back of the mouth for swallowing. The second one is intrinsic tongue muscle structure. It will alter the shape and size of the tongue for speech and swallowing. The third is this part. It serves as receptors for gustation and presence of food in mouth. The four common tastes are sweet, salty, bitter, and sour. Lastly is lingual gland structure. Lingual glands in the lamina propria of the tongue secrete both mucus and a watery serous fluid that contains the enzyme lingual lipase which acts on as much as 30% of dietary triglycerides and converts them to simpler fatty acids and diglycerides. So now, let's move to the function of the saliva gland. Saliva gland is used to produce the saliva, which is mainly made of water, electrolyte, buffers, glycoprotein, antibodies, enzyme, and the waste product. Saliva gland is mainly made of three glands, which are the parotid gland, sublingual gland, and the submandibular gland. After understanding about the saliva gland, now let us move to the function of the saliva. Saliva is keeping the oral cavity clean and is always keep the pH of the oral cavity around 7.0. This is to prevent the buildup of the acid produced by the bacteria. By controlling the pH, we can control the population of the oral bacteria. Besides that, saliva can moisten and lubricate the food. It can dissolve the chemicals that stimulate the taste bud. Furthermore, it can digest the complex carbohydrate. But how do humans control the saliva secretion? 
the salivary secretion is controlled by two mechanisms, which are the parasympathetic pathway and the sympathetic pathway. In terms of parasympathetic pathway, any object in the mouth will trigger the salivary reflex, means that any things in your mouth will stimulate the receptors or the taste part. And then the parasympathetic stimulation will speed up the saliva secretion, thus it will produce the large amounts of saliva. In terms of sympathetic stimulation, it will only produce a small amount of a thick saliva, but the mechanism is still unknown. However, sometimes saliva is not secreted. When the saliva is not secreted, it will trigger the bacterial explosion, thus leading to infection. And this infection can cause progressive erosion of the teeth and the gum. So now, you can see how important is the saliva gland, because Without saliva gland, the saliva is not secreted, thus we will get infected. And now, I would like to give a very brief introduction about our teeth, names of each teeth, and specific functions of teeth. Our teeth are made of multiple tissues of varying density and hardness. Basically, the overall function of human teeth is to break down food items by cutting and crushing, preparing for swallowing and digestion. Not only that, our teeth also plays an important role in speech. Next, a tooth has two anatomical parts. As you can see from this diagram, it has two main parts which is the crown part and also the root part. The crown part of tooth is that the part of tooth which is covered with enamel and this part is usually visible in mouth. The second, the root part is the part embedded in the jaws. It anchors tooth in its bony socket and this part normally not visible. There are four different types of teeth namely incisors, canines, molars and premolars. Each type has different job. For example, incisor, it cut the food. Canine, it tear the food. Molars and premolars both has the same function where they crush the food. And that's why it has a big surface. Here I would like to share something about canine. Canine is very well developed and sharp in non-vegetarians as they need to tear the meat. In vegetarians, as many generations have passed by, canine is of no use, so it is blunt. As a conclusion, our teeth plays an important role in our body, so it is very important for us to take a good care of our teeth. That's all from me, thank you.